Okay. So let's hope this works. We've got a question to do with probability. And this is the type of question that you have a multiple choice question. And there are three questions, question one, question two, and question three. Now we have uh, three options for each question, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. Now the, the thing is, um, we're going to guess. So we don't know, uh, we're going to guess each question and we want to find out the probability of getting a certain number of exact questions. Now, only one of these questions is correct. So the probability that we will get it correct is one third if we guess, and the probability that we get it wrong will be two thirds. Now that's the question one. Then we do question two and it, it repeats. The probability of getting it correct is one third. One of these is correct. The probability of getting wrong, there are two incorrect answers. So we've got two thirds of a chance. Now, when we do question three, the probability of getting this one correct was one third, and the probability of getting this one wrong will be two thirds. Now, we've got a situation here that we will uh, use a tree diagram. So the first question, we could get it, uh, we might get it correct, or we could get it wrong. The second question, we might get it correct, we could get it wrong. Now, if we got the first question wrong, we could still get the second question correct, or in fact, it could be wrong. Now, if we got two correct answers, uh, the, the third question we guess, we just might get it correct. So we get three correct in a row, or of course we can get the third question wrong. So depending on what happened earlier, when we do the third question, it's either going to be question correct or wrong. So we do the third question, it could be wrong, then correct, and then correct, or wrong, and then correct, and then wrong. And finally, we could get wrong, wrong, and then get correct, or we could get wrong, wrong, wrong. Now, there are all of our possibilities. Let's just uh, put this down as saying, uh, this is three correct in a row, uh, go across, this is correct, correct, and then correct. The next pathway is correct, correct, wrong. So I'm gonna put correct, correct, W for wrong. C, W, C, correct, wrong, correct. Correct, wrong, wrong. Correct, wrong, wrong. Follow the pathway, wrong, correct, correct. Wrong, correct, correct. Wrong, correct, wrong. So we follow the pathways and we get all of the possibilities, wrong, wrong, correct, wrong, wrong, correct. And finally, wrong, wrong, wrong. Now that's all of the possibilities. Well, the thing is each of these probabilities have a probability attached. So this chance could be a third, this pathway could be two thirds to get it wrong. It could be one third correct or two thirds to be wrong. This pathway is one third. This pathway means two thirds to get wrong. This pathway is a third. This pathway is two thirds. There's one way of getting it correct. There's two ways of getting it wrong. There's one way of getting it correct. Two ways of getting it wrong. One third, two thirds. So each pathway we multiply. So the, the first one means the chance of getting it correct, correct, correct is one third times one third times one third, that equals one out of 27. The chance of getting correct, and then correct, and then wrong, times two thirds is two twenty sevenths. The chances of getting it correct first, wrong second, and then correct third is two twenty sevenths. The chance of getting it correct, then wrong is two thirds, and then wrong again times two thirds, we get four twenty sevenths. The chance of getting it, oh dear, let me just fix that up. We've just had the screen jump across. I come back to this. The chance of getting wrong is two thirds. Chance of getting it correct is one third. Chance of getting it correct is one third. So that's two 27ths. Chance of getting it wrong first, 
then correct is one third, and then wrong is two thirds. So that would be four twenty sevenths for that particular situation. To get wrong, wrong, and then correct is two thirds times two thirds, and then times one third equals four over twenty seven. Final possibility to get it wrong, two thirds, to get it wrong again, two thirds, to get it wrong again, two thirds, the most highest probability, eight. 27. That's the highest likely single outcome. Now, let's look at our questions. We were asked, uh, what's the probability? Let's just go through from none to all. What's the probability of getting none correct? What's the probability of getting exactly one correct? What's the probability of getting exactly two correct? And what's the probability of getting all correct? All right, let's have a look at the first one, the probability of getting none correct. Well, the only way to get none correct is wrong, wrong, wrong. And that's eight over 27. Uh, that is eight over 27. Probably exactly one, exactly one. Well, let's find the exactly ones. Uh, here's an exactly one, the fourth opportunity. The sixth opportunity, exactly one. And then the seventh opportunity, seventh possibility is wrong, wrong, correct. There are three possible pathways where we get one correct. So that is four over 27 plus four over 27 plus four over 27. So that answer uh, is, I'll put it in front. 12 over 27. Okay, exactly two correct. Well, let's look for them. There's two correct. There's two correct. And there's two correct. So it's two over 27 plus two over 27 plus two over 27. So we get six over 27, six over 27. Uh, finally, the probably getting all correct is just that very first possibility, one over 27. And there we have the all the possibilities. If you add up um, eight over 27, plus 12 over 27, plus six over 27, plus one over 27, you should get 27 out of 27, which are all the possibilities. So I hope that's helped until uh, I talk to you again, stay happy. Okay.